Hey yo, what is up guys, it's Sam, back on the channel here, listen, we're back at you guys, this this flow, this absolute grind that's going on on YouTube now, I, I'm liking it, I'm actually really enjoying my time here, I've been here all week, it's like I'm just not coming off your screen at this point, I don't, listen, this video might end up with no views, imagine that, no one's even watched this, it's like that, it's like that scene, if a tree falls down in the forest but no one hears it, did it make a sound? I feel like I could relate that to this. I feel like I could relate that to some of my videos with less, less views. If I said a controversial thing, but no one was there to see it, did I really see it? That's a good thought. But um, anyway, guys, today's video topic is how to build a social network. Now, I would like to make this a two-part... Well, I would like to make this the second part of a series I started um, without you guys even knowing, because I didn't know myself. But basically, I made a video titled Men Should Make Their Own Rules. And since I've come back to YouTube, that has been the video that's done the best. Now, it might just be that Brad Pitt... It might just be because that Brad Pitt's shirtless in the thumbnail. That might be... Probably the most logical reason, but I would like to think it's because it's a title that people would like to see. People would like to click on. So this is kind of like a second part to that video, in a sense that to make your own rules, I feel like it's cool to do it within a brotherhood. And um, then obviously you and your friends can follow those rules and through that, create your own sort of life path. Now, I'm not, not going to say that you should obviously follow other people and you know make your goals the same as theirs but i do believe that you should have a brotherhood that all follow the same rules so that if you need to consult someone about something or if you need to rely on someone they are there for you and you are there for them with that being said today's video being about social networking or creating a social network I think it's very important to have a brotherhood. Um, me, myself, right now, um, I, I would say I've got, I've got friends. I have, I have quite a vast social network, but I don't have anyone close to me. Now, the next video I want to make in this series, the third part of this series, would be... Oh, wow, how, can I, how can I put this? What would, the, what would the title of the video be? I'd say probably how to create a brotherhood. Because it's like a filter system. It's like you make your own rules, then you make a social network, um, and then through that social network, you filter out who will be a part of your brotherhood. Now, I'm actually not at the stage yet where I'm forming a brotherhood. Yes, I have a few friends, no one very close, but I have a few friends. I've not yet decided how, well, the, the rules I want to set first, and also who would be most, who would be the best people to sort of fit into that brotherhood that go by the same rules as me and live a very similar life and want a very similar life. I've not yet actually got to that point. So that'll be a journey that me and you take together. Who knows, maybe you'll become part of my brotherhood watching this right now. You never know. But anyway, I think... With social networking, it's a very important skill to have. I mean, the, the last video, well, one of the last videos I made was about obviously bec becoming confident and how it's not a, um, it's not something that people are just naturally born with. It's a skill you can level up. Yes, some people are naturally born with it. I know. Yes, I know that. But it is a skill, just like anything else, that can be leveled up. So first, I will consider watching that video just so that, you know, it's easier for you to speak to people. Um... And then I would move on to this one, how to actually network with people and become more sort of known in your area, in your city, in your town. Um, but yeah, firstly, I would say sort of get out there. So this is step number one. Get yourself out there. Um, as much as you may hate social environments, put yourself out there. Even if it is in the workplace, try and make some friends in your work. I know right now, the place where I work, there's a lot of people that I speak to there. And um, it's just good to have a laugh. I mean, 
I think one thing for sure that I can say though is first impressions are very important. So make sure you know you're taking care of your fashion, skincare, the way you smell, hygiene in general, and um, obviously try and mold yourself into the character that you want to be. You can do that by watching all. I have countless. Listen, the amount of videos I've got on this channel about building your character. You guys have literally seen me build my own character from when I was like 17 until now when I'm 19, and I've changed massively and I've achieved a lot of my. I've achieved a lot of things that I've always wanted to achieve. Um, so yeah, step one would be to put yourself out there. You know, if you make any friends from say the workplace, first of all, get a job. Stop being a brokey. Find a way of making income with other people. It doesn't have to be a 9 to 5 job. But if you watch my video about the power of the 9 to 5, you may change your mind on that. But, um, you know, find people a job. Find a way to meet those people outside of work. Maybe go out with them um, to a bar, a pub, a club, or any other kind of event where there's going to be other people. And through that, network with other people in that environment now that brings me on to step two common interests so i may have even put this in the title you know in the little brackets because this is the main step common interests so you put yourself in that environment step number one obviously put yourself in a social environment step number two common interests if you start a conversation with someone even if it's through small talk you still need to bring that high frequency that high energy you know, try and make them laugh just through being a character. Um, you can choose your way of doing that. Everyone's got their own way of sort of rizzing people up, if you want to call it that. But pretty much, you need to then, once you've started as a bit of small talk, find a common interest. Now, this could be anything. This could be even the setting that you're in right now. This could be the environment that you're in. You could notice that this person's wearing a black leather jacket. And you own a black leather jacket. You say, oh, where did you get that from? I got my own from such and such a place. I've never heard of the company you've got yours from. It, what else do they sell? It sounds like a half decent company, at least because of the jacket you're wearing. It's kind of nice. You've got to find that common interest. You've got to show more interest. Well, actually, no, this, let, me, let me save that for step three. You've got to find the common interest. Obviously, break the ice with small talk. Then find a common interest. One thing I learned from door to door was, Always pick up on what someone's wearing, someone's hair colour, anything of that sort of nature. Compliment them, throw a compliment in there. And then through that, they'll expose themselves a little bit more, you know, open up. And then you can find common interest. Find that common ground. Find a topic, a conversation, what you can speak about that's actually engaging. Step number three and the final step is... Yeah, so step number three, guys. You've got to show more interest in their life rather than bragging about your own life um if you show interest in their life obviously they'll open up more say tell you more things this is basically basically like them giving you hints without knowing they're doing it but basically they're them giving you hints on what to say next so they might open up and say for example start talking about you know like oh yeah my siblings got got one of these jackets as well um and then you can, then you can, that's like a hint for you to basically say, oh, how many siblings have you got? Where are you guys from originally? You know, shit like that. And um, eventually, step number four, the final step, I don't know if I call number three the final step, but I have one little bonus step. And then it, that is basically securing the digits. Now you've riz, riz them up, boy or girl, man or woman, whoever it is. You've obviously spoke to that person, you fat, you've, you know, You've done the small talk, you put yourself in that social setting, you found the common interests, you show more interest in them. Now, number four is a way to secure the digits or get the Instagram, the Snapchat. So this, how you do this basically, is very simple because now that you've both opened up to each other and you've got that common interest, you should say, oh, you need to follow me because of this reason. So I can send you this or you can send me that. So whatever common interest you spoke about probably at the start of the conversation or most recently in the conversation, you can then say, oh, follow my Instagram or I'll follow your Instagram so I can send you this video of whatever the common interest was. 
And that's pretty much how you social network. That's how you gain people's your you know Instagram, social media, any anyone's number, anything like that. All through a simple conversation, basically. And that was a very simple guide on how to social network. The next video in this short sort of like series I'm gonna make will be how to create a brotherhood using the skills I've taught you in the social networking video and the information you gained from the men should create their own rules video. Anyway guys, with that being said, that's it for today. Peace.